What's going on everyone? Welcome to part three of our Keyshot Essential series. My name is Kareem Merchant, and today I'll be showing you how to apply, acquire, and control your Keyshot materials. If you followed along with our previous two installments, then you've most likely had the chance to import the security camera model you see here. If you haven't, you can always download the model from the link in the video description below or find it in Keyshot's cloud library. With that said, let's talk about materials. Keyshot has over 850 drag and drop materials available for you to use in your Keyshot projects. Whether it's metal textures, glass, pattern cloth, or more, there's plenty of options for every application and each material can be easily adjusted to better suit your needs. To get started using Keyshot's materials, you'll first need to have a model to work with. After you've opened your desired model, navigate to the library panel located on the left side of your screen and click on the materials tab to access the material library. If your library panel is not visible, try hitting the hotkey M to toggle it on or adjust your workspace in the workspace dropdown located on the ribbon at the top of the window. With your materials tab open, you'll notice a material tree that categorizes the available materials by group. This is located in the top half of the library panel. In the bottom half of the panel, you'll find a list of material samples that correlate to the category selected above. Here is where you can preview how a material might look before applying it to your model. At the bottom of the window, you can also toggle between icon view and list view to help you navigate materials more easily. If after searching through the material library, you still haven't found a material that quite works for your needs, try opening Keyshot's cloud library by toggling the cloud library button located on the left side of the toolbar at the bottom. Here you'll be able to access an extensive cloud-based material library that is regularly updated with new materials. Once you've decided to download a material, you can simply drag and drop it onto your desired part or hit the download icon to use later. Either way, the material can now be found in the download section at the top of the material tree. Before we start applying materials to our model, I want to briefly talk about some best practices that will help ensure a successful application. To begin with, models that have multiple components should be brought in as such. Each individual component should be its own piece of geometry, capable of accepting a material that is applied to its surface. If you find that when a material is dropped onto your part, your entire model adopts that material, you need to unlink your materials in the scene tree. You can do this by selecting your model in the scene tree, right-clicking, opening the material flyout menu, and selecting the unlink material option from the menu. If you'd like to avoid linking and unlinking materials in Keyshot, then applying a basic color map in your modeling software before importing will help Keyshot understand which components will share materials. Once you're ready to start applying materials, simply select your desired material option from the library and drag and drop it onto the part you wish to apply it to. You'll then repeat this step for each part you would like to apply a material to. If you're working with a previously color mapped model and have a single color applied to multiple parts, then all parts with that color will be automatically linked in Keyshot. If, however, you've decided to unlink materials to separate your parts, then you may want to manually link materials to help speed up your workflow. One way to do this is by simply applying the same material to multiple parts. When a material has already been applied to another unlinked part elsewhere in the scene, Keyshot will prompt you to link the duplicate materials. From that point forward, those materials will remain linked unless you manually unlink them. Another quick and easy way to apply the same material to another part is by right-clicking on an applied material, choosing the Copy Material option, then pasting it as a linked or unlinked material on another part. By choosing to paste as a linked material, you will ensure that those parts will maintain a material link going forward, whether you choose to apply a new material or make adjustments to the material already applied. At this point, if your goal is a quick turnaround or a basic visual, you may be ready to render out your final image. However, if you're looking to create a more realistic visual and or trying to create materials that accurately reflect your CMF guidelines, you can customize a material's parameters through the project panel. To get started customizing your material, you'll need to open it up in the project panel material tab. You can either open the tab and select the material you'd like to edit from the list at the bottom of the panel, or you can double click on the material in the real time view, which will automatically open the material in the tab. From here, you will typically be able to adjust parameters such as material color, 
specularity color, and material roughness. These parameters will change based on the type of material that you're working with. Here you can also adjust your material type to change the material's base properties as well as these sub-tabs to apply and control textures and labels. In the Textures sub-tab, you'll be able to apply and control textures that affect your material surface. Here you'll be able to change parameters such as the scale of a texture, how the texture is mapped, and how the texture will be tiled over your part's surface. Again, these parameters will change based on the type of material and texture map you've applied. Finally, in the Label sub-tab, you can create labels such as vinyl decals, branding marks, badges, and more to help increase the believability of your renders. The adjustment parameters available in this sub-tab are also very similar to the ones available for textures. Depending on the Keyshot version you're currently using, you may have noticed the Material Graph and or the Multi-Material buttons located at the top of the tab. These are both advanced material features that will give you significantly greater control over custom material creation. If you're curious about taking your material creation to the next level, check out our advanced series material tutorial, where global training specialist Ryan Levy takes a deep dive into the many advanced material features available. Thanks for watching the third part of our Keyshot Essential series. In part four, we'll learn the basics of using and adjusting cameras inside Keyshot and learn a few tips to help create realistic eye-catching scenes. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.